okay when. But I just thought we would just come on here and sit down and talk a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Cause we got some stuff to talk about. What me, Shirley? What we? What the shirt says, Shirley? What? It, it yeah, says so, Shirley, man. And Willie Thurl, yeah. God. It says Shirley. Yeah. Oh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and, and subscribe. Just, just what you said, I want you to do this. I want you to do this. Uh, like, comment, and yeah, subscribe. I'm gonna say it. No, that's show us. Okay, so like, comment, and yeah. subscribe. Yeah, there you go. Take your breath, take your breath, make sure. Yeah, we. Okay. Well, I think I'm doing a whole thing. Yeah, we killed ourselves, sir. No, I didn't. We. Like you had a breath. <laughs> what a we. Wait, wait, sir. Uh, what the day is, sir? Today is the day that the good Lord has made. No, I ain't that's what day of the week it is. Oh, we're the day Monday. Okay. So what do we get? We going to you know, uh, eat leftovers or what you going to cook? Yeah, well, you know we're going to have leftover air fried chicken. You said we're outside eating the air? We, I said we're going to have leftover um, air fried chicken. That chicken was good yesterday, Shelly. Ooh, wait, that chicken yeah. was so good, make you want to chef your mom. Well, Shelly, that's more French fries. So who? French fries. What's that, we? You know French fries? Well, you know you can't talk too good. I said French fries. French fries? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got them with, but you don't need them with. You need to eat that now. Ah, uh, so you gotta get them. I'm slim, not with Shirley. Oh, yeah, you slim fine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but Shirley, uh, you been hearing all that stuff no going around, though, sir? Oh, wait. I just don't know what to say no more. Because, yeah, at first I thought it was just everything's out there with the sea. But right. now it's more than the sea, Shirley. Woo, wait. Yes, it is. It's so much going on these days. And but then Shirley, uh, I started thinking about now. Okay, so now they said, now Shirley they said, it get to the point now. They might have to start that clothes now again. I thought it's it still, seems right. I thought everything was moving out the, uh, moving out the way yeah. on everybody. It seems like it's, it's, you know, like you said, like it's leaving. But then it, we get an incline of numbers, people studying, getting sick, and whew, I just don't know no more, we. But now Shirley, that, I thought you were sleeping. Though. No, you heard the body number, you know, you probably. I ain't think too much of it, but now. What you saying, we? You ever heard that this a new thing they got out of my shirt? What? What did they ever hear? They heard about something. They better, uh, they come from Africa. Oh, after, y'all. Some kind of Africa duck, a duck. No, we, you say the wrong thing. Oh, what is it? It's the dust. Oh, dust, okay. The Shangharari dust. Oh, okay. By the way, some kind of dust in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What they said to do to you? We, I'm trying to tell them now. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know you need to let me know this, huh? Okay, you. we. Okay. You know I need you with. I ain't about that for the talk. I know Oh, know. okay. Y'all, all my years plus, we ain't never heard no stuff like this. Some dust coming from Africa that's gonna be in the sky. It's flying over 5,000 miles away. Now, that's some serious stuff. And if you're down here in the south, like you in Louisiana, you in Texas, y'all gonna see this stuff. What happened is, you know, normally on a bright sunny day, our sky is bright, blue, and gorgeous, right? Yeah. But now, it's going to be looking hazy and, you know, cloudy looking. That's the dust that's coming from Africa. I'm sure I'm asking this. Is the dust going to... Okay, what you got to prevent? How you prevent from the dust getting on you? Do you have to take away your mask or what? Yeah, so if you guys have upper respiratory um issues the best advice we can give is stay at home in the house because it irritates it, it flares up like if you have bronchitis if you have asthma you have problem breathing you don't need to be out there in this stuff well sure i wanna well i guess it's bad like the seagull in the shirt i don't think it's that bad either. the who the sea you know the sea thing going around y'all come to find out it's coming in from uh I'll list the word right here, what it is. I ain't talking about that shit, I'm talking about the wrong one. I say anything worse is the wrong one. Uh, no, it ain't worse is the wrong one now. Yeah, but what it give you? It just help with, you just have problems with your breathing. Also, if you got a problem with the respiratory, respiratory system. What? What is that? Respiratory. Laboratory. Yeah, whatever you call. We can't breathe it. Um, if you ain't got the breathing problem. Upper respiratory. Yeah, if you, okay. that, if you ain't got that, you all right. Yeah, you are right. You can go out there. It ain't gonna even do nothing. Well, I'm glad they about to steal it. Because it's just gonna dust in your eyes. Yeah, you know, you don't want all this stuff. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, weird. Well, but you're right, because I know I got asked. I can't show can't be out there, sure. Well, I can't be out there either. So we have to stay in the house. You know, we can't stay. We can't go out there. But I want to give a little history on it. This uh, dust comes from Africa 
which was known as, let's get our biblical peoples with us. You remember the Mediterranean Sea? Well, it once was part of the Mediterranean Sea, where this dust is coming from, a part of Africa. And this happened over 7 million years ago. It once was a rainforest, and then they said it was the Mediterranean Sea, but the Mediterranean Sea dried up over years and million years ago, and now it's just dry land is a desert. And they said that all that dust, it's a dust storm that happens yearly. Um, I know for different parts of Texas, I'm not going to name too much because we don't want to name so much, and then y'all yeah, kind of put two and two together where we at. Yeah. <laughs> but... You know, this is an annual thing that happened in certain parts of Texas. This, this is what I'm talking to, talking about. Um, it happens, you know, around late spring, the end of spring. They said summer and what was the other? And fall. So this happens every year. And my question is, if this happens every year, why don't nobody talk about it? I should ask you this. Would it be here a long time or it just passing through, Sharon? Which one? Is, well, it's something that's passing through because even this week, y'all pray for us. What that it's coming through, through here this week. Okay, you don't know what day? Well, um, the forecast was said it's going to be several days, but we are expected to see in our location on Thursday. Okay. This Thursday. So, Sharon, you think about the, uh, about the dust coming through here? They gonna get a free food stamp, sir? Now, well, you know, that one way, them people ain't gonna get no free food stamp. I thought every time there'd be something like, a, you know, something come through here, they, they get some extra food stamp, sir. Well, if we get that, that'd be a miracle. Oh, think they gonna do that? No, no, no. Oh, ain't. okay. But yeah, I think I said, yeah, I'm actually, uh, Shirley, about that, I said, it's a uh, bad, uh, dust come through. I said, they might get some extra food stamp. Well, some emergency food stamp. It's an emergency, which yeah. you, and he get us some federal aid and everything, yes, we. <laughs> and they said, they hear somebody from Luke, they said, oh, this weekend, what have blackout or something about food stamps? Yeah, they say gonna have a blackout on the food stamps. So you can't they, use your food stamps Saturday night. You ain't gonna better use them till Saturday morning at eight a.m. And that's what I know because I read it for my shift. So you mean trying to go to the store late night on no, Saturday? No, we. Why? Because you may use your food stamps all the They messed up there. Unless you plan on using some cash, and we need our little cash. Oh, I got, I got some food stamps here. No, no, we. Well, well, uh, so what you plan on doing, um? Uh, Rest of the day, sir. Well, we, I guess after this video here, we just gonna chill out and eat us some good food, get our beverage full, and we just gonna chill. Oh, yeah, sir. For us now, um, you know, everybody, well, a lot of people start to go back to go stores now, don't Mm-hmm. But you just, you still have social, social, social security, I mean, social, social security. I mean, social distancing, sir. Yeah, well, you gotta have social distance. Take your time, baby. What? Take your time. Why do I say I don't think about this? Oh, oh okay, man. Man. Well, well, uh, yeah, you gotta practice social distancing, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all have y'all gloves on and y'all mask. And think about that, sure, you know, you should do. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell you, well, mask and gloves stuff like that. Right. Well, I said a lot of people still ain't wearing them. They not taking it serious. I don't think people care about life more these days. Ooh, no. They might think, I guess I'm a bill pile of them. They won't be able to get out of there, I'm sure. You know. <laughs> they can't go to no. We keep our mask stuff on. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Billy Bob, Sam Cook, and everybody else, they may not have their uh, gloves on and their masks on, but I tell you over here at the Peterson's, we gonna have our stuff and on. And this is right now, uh, Shirley, because now they said, uh, they said old people eat. <laughs>